hello again friends welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by again today to hear what the lord would have us know my name is sharon today just as the title of the video says the enemy knows so much about you the enemy knows so much about you hence the rage yes the enemy knows too many things about us too many things that sometimes we do not even know even if it is glaring us in the face and um he is mad because he can't have it. He is angry because he can't have it. He is mad at you because you are the only one that can have it, that can assess it, that can own it. But he knows it that you don't know that you have those things. And he, 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 he devises a tactic which he has used over time though to keep you in that state of not knowing what he knows about you and what are those things common things simple things that is written about us in the bible the enemy knows the efficacy he knows the potency of those words of those promises of those blessings that Christ has purchased for you. He knows that if you know it is yours by right. He knows that if you know it is yours by right. He can no longer keep you down. So he does everything under the sun to keep you fighting battles upon battles. Fighting battles. Endless battles. Just so that you are distracted from what you should know and who you really are today this word is to encourage somebody that you are loved no matter what you think or see around you the word of god says you are loved you are highly favored you are fearfully and wonderfully made you are above only and never beneath that is who you are you are healed even if you look sick or act sick you are healed you are preserved you are protected the enemy knows this about you and for whatever reason, some of us don't either know it or we don't believe it. But that is who you are. That is who you are in Christ. Christ has purchased it. He has given it to you. All you need to do is believe it. But the enemy throws things at you that will keep you distracted so that you would never believe it. Thereby stealing your joy, stealing your peace, stealing your prosperity, stealing your wealth, stealing your health. Just to make sure that you do not become all that you ought to be. But today, I decree in the name of Jesus, an end to every spirit of ignorance in our life. Whatever has kept us so distracted from the purpose of God, from who we are in God, so that they can continually steal what belongs to us. Today, that spirit of ignorance dies in us in the name of Jesus. It dies in our life. It dies from wherever it came from. Spirit of ignorance, get out of this life listening to me right now. From today, let them begin to walk in the purpose of God, the plans of God. Let them begin to walk in the knowledge of who they are in Christ. And any hand, any power that has stolen what is theirs, it is written that when the thief be caught, he will restore sevenfold of what was taken today i decree divine restoration of all the opportunities the blessings the positions the graces the possibilities the achievements the heights that every child of god ought to have attained by reason of knowledge that they lost because the enemy stole it today i decree restoration in the name of jesus to that one person listening to me do not believe the lie of the enemy anymore. Mm -mm. You are who God says you are. You are who God says you are. As you see it in the Bible, that is what it is. It doesn't matter if you had goose pimple the day you saw it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sometimes some of us wait to feel something when we read certain words to believe it. <laughs> no, you don't need to have goose pimple. You don't need to feel it. <laughs> if it is written there and you saw it for yourself, it is yours. So today I pray from this day, begin to see yourself as Christ sees you and may the word of God begin to manifest in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. 
God bless you, my friends. This is all I have for us today. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.